Hello dear students, welcome to Devi Cross Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see another topic. Three topics we have already covered from the risk and return chapter. Three topics over now. We are entering into the measurement of risk. How do we measure the risk? There are different methods. These methods are related to the statistics. Did you remember statistics? The same related statistics only we are going to use different methods. So today we will focus first on the range. Okay, calculation of measurement of risk. First topic we are taking range. Did you remember range? What is range? Yeah, asking you. Range. Range means nothing but highest value minus lowest value is the range. Whatever data is given from that data, you select the highest value. That is to be deducted from the lowest value. That's range. With that range, we can calculate the risk also whenever when do you use this risk of measurement of range specially range when do you use means whenever two companies data is given two companies data is given the two companies data you have to find out the range and then you can compare it for comparison point of view we use the range they won't ask you in the problem calculate range no don't expect that Whenever you find two companies strategies, two companies data and asking you what is the risk return, what do you recommend, which company do you recommend as per the risk and return point of view, then you should understand that two companies are given asking a suggestion means possibility of calculation of range. How do you calculate highest value minus lowest value and decision how you wanted to take the decision, decision to be taken which is the highest range that is more risky range is highest means risk is more less range range value is less then this is much recommended highest risk means high risk highest range is high risk now i'll explain you through a problem now the pro here range means highest possible rate minus lowest possible rate Highest value minus lowest value. Now, how do you select it? How do you recommend it? Higher would be risky. If the value is higher, that is more risky. Which is more risky means you have to compare it. Which value is more? That is more risky. We are saying it very clearly. Now, see the problem. From the following information, ascertain the risk of the two assets. Risk of the two assets. State as to which asset is riskier. Out of this, which asset is riskier? Do you find in the problem anywhere range? No. Range they won't ask. But they have given two companies data and asking us which asset is more riskier. Means understood you have to calculate the range only. Now if you see the data, particular asset 1, asset 2. Initial cash out limits, their investment is 2,50,000, 2,50,000 for both the assets separately. And uh, rate of return, rate of return is pessimistic period, most likely optimistic. Different period point of view, rate of return, expected rate of return in percentage, 8%, 10%, 12%, 6%, 10%, 15%, 15%, 15 it is given. Now what you have to do? You have to first calculate the range. Then after that, you would suggest which is more riskier. Now let's start the solution. For solution you write the formula. What is the formula? Range is equal to range is equal to highest possible return. Highest rate of return you can see. Highest rate of return return minus what? Lowest rate of return. lowest rate of return for both the assets you have to calculate for asset 1 asset 2 ok uh, we will calculate asset 1 first asset 1 range asset 1 highest value is here 12 lowest value is 8 means 12 minus 8 12 minus 8 it means 4 percent is the range of asset 1 did you get it? In the same way for asset 2. Uh, 
as a two highest value is 15 lowest is 6 15 minus 6 means 9% how do you decide which one is more riskier higher would be risky which is highest as a two so this is more riskier what they are asking which is more riskier you can write here uh, asset asset 2 is more riskier than than asset 1 as it has greater range of risk that's all we have suggested so out of these two which one is more riskier means highest highest one is 9 so we are saying asset 2 is more riskier than asset 1 as it has greater range of risk higher is the highest risk okay now did you follow this problem very simple na so one problem homework so homework problem is given to you homework problem let me read from the following information ascertain the risk of two assets and state as to uh, which asset is risky same kind of problem we have initial outlay of 30 lakh 300 lakh 300 lakh we have nothing to do with this we need to worry about only the rate of return how much you are getting for asset 1 asset 2 so this is given same way first write the formula find out for asset 1 range asset 2 range and whichever is uh, highest that is more risky this is the suggestion or conclusion you are going to write like this that's all now answer is given to you for asset 1 4% asset 2 12% <laughs> by looking at the board i think you can uh, say what is the answer solution also clear na so next after this we'll go for standard deviation in the next class stay connected very easy to follow and uh, uh, if you focus accounts is nothing very simple and don't forget to share this video check out the playlist also good luck